it's Claire back again. In today's video I'm going to swatch and we can take a closer look at the polishes that Anna sent me. Anna Sanders um, sent a huge box of polishes to me a couple of weeks ago over from Germany. Um, and Anna, if you're watching this, I have emailed you just to confirm, clarify exactly what your address is because I've already started collecting a few polishes and things to send over to you. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get that sorted soon. The polishes that Anna sent me were amazing. She obviously clearly understands my taste in nail polish shades and finishes. There is a um, topper that Anna suggested was great in a jelly sandwich. So I've put a couple of jelly polishes here. This is Simply, Simply Fabulous from China Glaze. This one here is NARS Jungle Red. So both jelly polishes, because I want to see what that jelly sandwich looks like. And um, actually, let's make a start with that one. So there were a couple of polishes that Anna sent over. There was three, actually, I think, yeah. Um, that were from this brand Trend It Up and Anna said that this looks great as um, in between two jelly polishes so I've put the first coat down obviously and I want to see what this looks like with another jelly coat over the top of this so it's a really pretty gold flake um, in this Kind of milky clear base so let's see what that looks like with the other coat over the top of it this one by the way is it doesn't have a name but it's number 10 so in the meantime while that's drying let's have a look at the other trendy ups so this was the mini this one is number 292 and it's a really pretty duochrome in this cute little mini and i have actually worn this polish. It's very pretty. It looks kind of purple in the bottle. It's that sort of beetle green purple blue uh, shifty polish um, and it looks very blue there like a navy blue but you can see with the green flash in there it's very very pretty. So this requires two coats but it's a, a gorgeous multi-chrome and the other polish that Anna sent me from Trend It Up this is a Wonder Glaze so I think this was a limited edition and this is number 40 a very very rich and deep rusty orange burnt orange with a very pretty gold shimmer this is more of a terracotta actually to me than a, a burnt orange um, I love the brushes and the application is fantastic. So this is the a kind of high street brand in Germany. Um, very impressive. And of course, Anna sent me a lot of lip products um, from this brand as well. And they've been absolutely fantastic. The next polish that Anna sent me was a Kiko. And this is number, se I think this is number 73 or 225. I don't know. I know that you can look on the website and um, and find out what the name is for this polish which I think is a very neat marketing ploy to get you to have a look at the website and then of course while you're there you fill your basket <laughs> very clever but that is a beautiful purple scattered holographic really pretty and that's from Kiko so another drugstore brand this is P2 Beauty Blues and this one's called Blue Treasures. I don't think I told you what the name of it was previously in the previous video. And this this is the polish that Anna said was um, very similar to the Sinful Colours Stoned Crystal Shimmer collection. I don't know what's happened to the swatch wheel. <laughs> um, and it is, it's got that crushed silver flake and uh, but this is a beautiful turquoise which of course will match my ring so i haven't worn this yet but i'm really really looking forward to wearing it and great formula so that's p2 and another p2 this is a, a gloss gel look polish and this is called rebel mind 
and it's a very pretty grey with it looks like a little bit of green in there love the brushes as well these little fat flat brushes so it's a kind of medium so it's a kind of medium toned grey that's going to need two coats but it is very gel like beautiful shades this is the full size of Virgin Snow that um, Anna watching my videos obviously realised that um, I didn't have the full size European version. This is such a beautiful polish. So it, real kind of New Year's polish for me. I love these. Um, it's kind of a wintry pastel. And that's Virgin Snow, which is definitely more purple than... The American version, the US version, is much more of a kind of very pale lilac blue. This is more lavender leaning. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Anna. So I now have the mini and the full size. And then Anna sent me four incredible indie polishes. And wow. This one I haven't worn yet, but I'm dying to wear it. This was, um, this one is monster is a relative term and um yeah anna says she likes uh, oh I've, i'll put it on this one here seeing as this is the one it chose <laughs> it looks again it looks purple in the bottle but it's actually um i think it's either a very very dark blue or black but it's absolutely packed with multi-chrome flakes yeah beautiful so i will definitely be wearing this one soon monster is a relative term from night owl lacquer beautiful and this one here is a mini dollish polish um which anna thought was a uk brand but um i think it's actually a us brand and this is candy is dandy but liquor is quicker and it's a very pretty pink crelly um so anna i think anna is a fan of crellies and this is a very pretty bubblegum pink and it's got lots of blue and red and silver glitters in there very pretty so that's candy is dandy but liquor is quicker this one i wore straight away i think i wore i wore this one first and then i wore this one immediately afterwards it's so pretty this is 80 degrees from the mild and wild collection colors by laro It's packed with the linear holographic, but it's a, a kind of pastel duochrome and it's kind of lavender periwinkle. Absolutely beautiful polish. So it needs to be built up. I think I did two, possibly three coats on this. And it's just going to look grey there, but it's definitely... Um, a pastel multi-chrome you can see the, the color shifting there so I will build that up and you can see what that looks like um, when it's a little bit more opaque what I'm going to do is put camellia over the top of um, I think I'll put it over the top of this Barry M here this is almond from Barry M and um, I did actually wear this as a topper over don't boss and over me around and I absolutely loved it so um, I'm looking forward to trying this over lots of different creams but it certainly looks very very pretty over a neutral kind of taupey beige grey shade just instantly transforms into a multi-chrome flaky sort of scattered holographic absolutely beautiful so i can understand why that's your favorite topper anna 
Um, okay, so I will put a second coat on everything and we can come back and take a closer look at these beautiful, beautiful polishes. Okay, so that is two coats on everything apart from the jellies because I thought we could um, see what that looks like as I apply it. And um, I just... I didn't put another coat on, on top of Camellia. This is good to go as a one coat topper over an, any other cream. Um, so this is two coats of the Trend It Up Duo Chrome. Absolutely beautiful, fantastic. I love this polish and I'm looking forward to wearing this. It looks a little bit brighter actually in the camera. It's a little bit more subdued to the eye and this is the, the, it needs a top coat to, to really kind of make that glitter pop. There we go, that's a bit of a closer look at the Kiko polish. That's the P2 polish with the weird chipped nail swatch. The second coat on that grey P2 um, levelled it out and it's beautifully shiny. don't think that would even need a top coat. And that's two coats, only requires two coats of the very pretty Essie Virgin Snow. Um, can I get some focus? There we go. That's two coats, possibly needs three of the Dollish Polish Candy is Dandy. And this one only needed two coats, thought it might need three. Couldn't remember whether when I wore it if I applied two or three coats, but I think it must have been two this is fine in, in two coats and it's that beautiful 80 degrees from Colours by Leroux. That is, monster is a relative term. Really looking forward to wearing this. Um, and that's Night Owl Lacquer. And that's Camellia again. So let's have a look at these jellies, these jelly sandwiches. Um, okay, let's go with Simply Fabulous first. Hopefully we can still see the glitter under there. It's drowned it a little bit. Maybe this was too opaque and it's not as jellyish as I thought. Maybe it is more of a cream. Although, oh, oh, no, hang on. You can see them. You can see them there. Hopefully you can see that. But it's it's very subtle. So, yeah. That is um, Simply Fabulous, which kind of, I now know isn't the best for jelly sandwiches, but this is a, definitely a jelly red. Um, and this is NARS Jungle Red. I mean, it, they, it looks great on its own just as a topper. But yeah, straight away you can see that looks beautiful. You can definitely see it there. So you need, absolutely need a jelly formula. And uh, Simply Fabulous clearly isn't as jellyish as I thought it would be. But that looks very pretty. It's like ruby slippers. Love it. Thank you so much, Anna. Anna, let me know if you've got my email. I'm kind of picking out some Barry M's and bits and pieces to do a return box for you. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.